The uh, city of Schenectady launching a new campaign aimed at bolstering small business and sharing the city with the whole world. James Delafuente in the Electric City today with the latest on the buzz. A number of state and local officials gathering at Proctor's for the announcement of New Schenectady. It's a new initiative to tell them about the rejuvenation of the wonderful uh, city and count, county and villages and towns we have. We are not doing enough to tell the world that we are a new and we are a better city and this is a place that we need we need to share that information with the world. So that's how it happened. Schenectady has played a role in many of the country's firsts, like radio, TV, and of course, General Electric has been here since the 50s. But in the last few decades, that electric energy was fading. Now with many city projects completed and more in the works, that power seems to be coming back on. And over the past 20 years, we have flourished with new growth and new development. 80 to 100 new projects a year. When you think about it, it's enormous. Mayor McCarthy touts housing projects. The Northside Village, the conversion of Yates Village, that's a $120 million project to provide affordable housing in this community. Whereas most people I talked to said they were in favor, some folks still had concerns. The housing, that's, I mean, that's a huge problem in Schenectady right now. I think we should really just focus on that instead of trying to just change it all. They, they've built up a lot over the years, you know, so uh, I can see that and I see there's a lot of things, more things to do in the city. Todd Garifano with Discover Schenectady says it will benefit the city. So it drives revenue in the tourism sector, creates sales tax revenue, creates occupancy tax revenue, and all of that gets put back into the fold. In Schenectady, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC.